Hi everyone, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back once again. Uh, yeah, it's it's turning out to be a, quite a funny day today. Um, one minute it's overcast. I can feel it. I can, I can make out like just about um, that uh, it's slightly overcast and you know it's just one of those things that happens as i said before i just hope everybody's having a great day and if you haven't liked and subscribed please do so um yeah but bus has just uh, moved out and uh yeah let's have a so we'll just have a have a think about which bus we're going to get. So that's going to That's the That's the 36. Yeah. 36, 37, and the 8. Just have to wait and see what uh, turns up first. Uh, just wait on the. Ah. So I'll just wait. So uh, we'll see what happens today. That kind of guy yeah, could have an absolute packet. That guy could absolutely earn a packet teaching me the other language. Absolutely could. Oh well. Thirty eight. Hang on, so I see what this one is down here. Is it the eight? Have a look. 
Uh, yeah. Let's have a look. Let's have a nosy. What time? What, what, what time? This is due out. Oh, it's a driver change. Driver change. Okay, I'll get on this. Right, let's get on it. What is it, eight? Yeah, okay. Okay. I'll get on this one. Thirty-seven. Thanks. We'll go upstairs for a change. We'll go upstairs for a change. Why not? Yeah, well what I'll do is shoot out the window, yeah, so that uh, we can get uh, a proper video of uh, where we're going, so that, uh, you know, sitting at the front, we can get a proper shot of what's going on. These are fairly new buses really, this is a fairly new one. So I can get a bit more, a bit more of a view of what's going on. So So off we go. We'll get off near the magistrates the Crown Court and we'll walk down. And then We'll have a bit of a extra view. And off we go. That was that was quite a quick bus change. And I'm glad it was quite a big a quick, quick bus change. So what we've got in front, we've got the five oh one, don't know where that goes to, but um right. That's going somewhere, but I don't know. <laughs> The weather has uh, basically turned turned round and uh, uh, started, you know, being a bit more uh, thing. So what I will do, I will shoot out the window. I've got no, I've, I've got an, a nice uh, position here so that I can shoot out of this window or the other window. The parts at the side of the bow model at the moment, and uh, we'll soon see if soon see if uh, we we'll get some ideas um, of where we're going. Um, yeah, it's been a while that somebody did this. Uh, did this trip and uh, I can't remember the, who, the, who it was but uh, you know we'll get we'll get quite a few and I mean quite a few of the developments that are whoo 
I must admit this row is rather bumpy. The crane has actually moved since last time we came and the other quarter hasn't been uh, hasn't been done. The amount of building that's been going on yes the crane has moved but you know not much movement has been done not much um, if the company got into difficulties I don't know We're on Manchester Road at the moment. We're going to come up, come up by uh, Bolton's new police station. Newish at the time. Um, Greater Manchester Police sp splashed out a fair bit of money for that for these places because they're not like Lancashire's police stations at all. Um, they're completely, totally different. They're basically, <laughs> it looks like, to be truthful, it looks a bit like Anderson's, an Anderson shelter. But, uh, you know, it's just one of those things that happens. Just one of those things that happens. That uh, they have that, they have that. And it's Bolton's, it is now Bolton's main police station. You might get, we might get a bit, we might get a bit of a glimpse of it when we go further up up the road here. Um, yeah, I understand at night time. At night time, this road is quite busy, especially when uh, when it gets dark and the police start getting a lot of calls. There we go. That's the police state. That's the police station over there. The one with the blue one with the blue uh, edge all along the window near the Asda supermarket yeah I don't know what's happening today but the weather is absolutely all over the place absolutely all over the place and uh, yeah and they do have a staples believe it or not and uh, we'll see what happens later on We'll just have, as I say, I'll just have a. We're going into slightly on the edge of Manchester, Manchester city centre, but uh, we'll get off near the uh, near the court, uh, Magistrate, the uh, Crown Court, walk down and go underneath and just make our way along the road there into South into uh, part the lower part of Salford and see how see how it uh, has changed much I understand that the old uh, Salford hospital has now been converted into apartments but I, but that's just hearsay at the moment and uh, we'll try and not get this time this time we'll try and not get arrested. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm actually going to fill the phone up today, and uh, yeah, I will send all the all the file tiles to all the videos to the SD card like I usually do, and then once I've done that, it'll. It will be a uh, pretty, pretty good sort of thing. And I said, as I said before, it's a very changeable day today. Um, but we'll go through parts of uh, Bolton. We'll, you know, some touch touch on a little few towns on the on a few. Uh, towns on the way um, because this has to go through um, Walkden Town Centre that was actually 
that show that was actually uh, featured on a another YouTuber's site. I think it was Dead Mal Walking. It was. Um, yeah. I. But the thing is, I did. I did a, a blog. I think I was actually the first one to do a blog on that. Um, yeah. There's been quite, as I said, there's been quite a fair, quite a fair uh, number of blogs on there. Walked in, walked in town centre. And some of the comments I do, a lot of the comments I do agree with what they basically said on it. Because Walkden only has a population of 32,000. But to be truthful, there is scope for redevelopment there. Um, of which could be undertaken. Salford City Council, if you're listening, if you're listening, build a fair, build a 55 story tower block in Walkden. Maybe, maybe. Um, there is an empty space at the bottom of the road on the corner which is being partitioned off build your multi start get get contractors there and build a 55 story story uh, building I know you're doing one at Greenfield I know you're doing one at Greenfield but uh, you know do one there one there going past the health centre I think we're just tickling on Farnworth yeah we're tickling on Farnworth at the moment Farnworth and the other just the other side of Farnworth is Pendlebury Yeah, is Pendlebury. So we're just going to over the uh, the bridge, railway no, uh, bridge at the moment, and uh, yeah, we're going to get a lot of dings on this bus, and uh, we're just having a nice, nice uh, bus ride. I did invite Jennifer for a bus, you know, to come on the bus ride to uh, where where I'm going, you know, but I think she turned it down because I think there's something uh, quirky going on with her bus pass. And uh, yeah, yeah. And off we go. Yeah, they got their got their goal got their goal put there. I've got a funny feeling feeling that's a care home. Yeah, I really do feel that's a care home. Can't be too sure about that. But that's what I think. That's what I think. So we'll carry on towards Manchester now. And uh, see how it goes. Some sort of church or community centre we've gone past. Got into the traffic lights now. And it'll be a pretty good, it's going to be a pretty good bus ride, really, you know. 
it's been a while as I said it's been a while that somebody actually did this vid redid this video because the person who did it last time as I said earlier hadn't done it for quite some time they didn't re yeah we went going into Farmworth we went into Farmworth uh, they hadn't done this they, had, they hadn't done this uh, route for quite some time so I thought well you know why not we're outside Farmworth Town what used to be the town hall so we've just gone past there but believe them now quite a lot of people for, Quite a lot of the council are still working from home. Going past Thrive, the Thrive office. I'll have a look to see if it was. And uh, yeah. This is actually a. Um, how can I put this? A deprived area. Really? If they basically turned round, to basically turn round and put some high rise here, I reckon that would. Oh, stopping outside. Is that Bolton Properties? Or stopping outside Bolton Properties and. Uh, uh, and a mini market. Uh, you know, I'm going past that shop bubbles has been there since uh, since you had done, and there is a shop down here called um, oh god, then it um, it well, I can't remember, but. You know, I'm just having a nice bus ride. That's here at the moment in about in Farmworth. Farmworth's a bit, you know, they say it's a deprived town. And it's a uh, thing. Going past bubbles. Yeah, it is a bit. <laughs> it is a bit. It is a bit of a. Uh, dental surgery. That's the thing I have to do when we go to that. Into black lead tomorrow. Do a few uh, rep, you know, bring that place up and get down to taking it. Just leaving farm with now. Now we're going to end up. Now the next stop will be Swinton. Swinton, I did a video on uh, a good few, a good few months ago. A good few months ago, it were. Um, one of these days, I'm gonna once we've done once we've done this today. And I'm going to basically pay visit, pay another visit to Swinton once again, and to see if anything has basically changed there. Because um, since Salford, because Salford City Council has been 
I'm talking about walk down there run by Salford City Council. It's quite a fair places around here that are run by uh, Salford City Council. In other words, Salford City Council is therefore claimed as a super council. Um, there were talk, there were nigglings that they were going to try and take take Bolton, take Bolton over, um, but Bolton wouldn't let them really. So we're just going into on the outskirts of Swinton now. Um, we're still in we're still in Farmworth at this moment in time but very soon we will be will be hitting um, the Salford uh, Swin Swinton area and then after that we'll end up in the Salford area as we can share this is basically all this all this area here is basically Salford City Council area and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes um, a lot of the a lot of the stories that I'll, I'll, t I'll tell you about Premier Premier are basically local local uh, grocery shops and yeah it's pretty uh, pretty horrendous really I'm sat as you can my colour make out the weather's been the weather has been actually all over the place as of recent when I, since since I got on this uh, bus the weather's been all over the place now we're basically pretty soon we should be entering Swinton or well, then again we might be already in Swinton um, what's in say very cool um, yeah I didn't want to stick around Blackburn today because to tell you the truth I got a little bit fed up a bit um, but I will be will be venturing back there and uh, do a bit of do a bit of some of the areas there. But I thought I'd just get on the bus and have a change. Because um, you'd be well, you'd be getting a little bit fed up of Blackburn, Blackburn, Blackburn all the time. So I thought, well, you know, we'll do something different today. As you most probably can make out. <laughs> the weather is completely totally unpredictable and you know I will back this up in a bit because I reckon that the memory on the phone is going to be fairly full of uh, of stuff of video and stuff so you know it's just one of those things isn't it um, there we go, coming in, coming down the road now, and I uh, just hope everybody's having a great day. Me? Not too bad. This road can get ri This is the road to S this is the road to Swinton, right? And I must admit, this road can get very bumpy, very bumpy. I remember taking Jenny on Jennifer on this on this uh, run, and she basically, you know, um, she got pretty bored. She got pretty bored uh, sitting on the bus, sitting on the bus going all the way up here. And I must admit, I must admit, a lot of the pavements down here. I must say something about uh, these areas. On some of the side, some of the side, some of the pedestrian areas, the pavements are quite wide, quite wide for an area like like a, a residential area, you know. Because you think you'd think the um, you'd think the pavement 
pavements will be rather more narrow then. But they're not. They, some parts of Swinton, the Salford and Swinton, the, the pavements are quite far out. Don't know why that is, but it's just the way it is. And plus, plus, if anything does happen, it does give the houses a bit of protection from, like, say, the car, uh, especially a car accident or anything, and uh, it probably gives the houses a bit more protection, you know, when you walk, walk when you're going along here. Less chance of you getting hit. So I'm just, uh, you know. Oh well. We have. I thought we had. I thought. I thought. Oh well. I'm just looking through the camera now at the moment. I'm just wondering if we're getting uh, raindrops. Are you getting raindrops? I don't think so yet. Forecast it. Yep. We are now coming into... We're coming to the edge of wherever we are. And we're coming into, into the Swinton area. Yeah. Coming into the Swinton area. Yeah, I don't know. Is it a is it an old port town? Or is it a day centre? I don't know. Could be. Could be. Off we go. Past the churchyard. I don't know, the the clouds seem to be a bit more uh, Got more thing on it. Here we go. We're still in the Salford catchment area at this moment. Going past Wick. Someone's having got the pipes redone. They're having the pipes redone. I'll basically get rid of quite a fair a few of these houses if they're not if they're not uh, if they're not privately owned. And basically replace them with high rise. Yeah, because I like high rise. In some in some cases I reckon that will be Due to our situation, the homeless situation, uh, I reckon they might put, uh, they might uh, resort to that. So, no worries. So, one of the major major things with it, with this area is that. Very soon, very soon, there's going to be a major development, um, which has basically, as I said earlier, is that um, it's going to be quite well. Once once green, once once green park has been done. I reckon there's going to be approximately 12 new developments coming up because I think to be gospel honest truth I think Green Park is just going to be the start of start of the major skyscraper uh, program in Salford I think that's just the start of it because to be honest um, it's like I said in one of my other other videos that um, between the boundary line between Salford and Manchester is basically going to 
um, converge in that sort of area. Because if you can walk, if you walk round the say the height, the mag, the uh, Crown Court, shall we say, that, that sort of area, and you just take a short walk down to the bottom and walk down, you come to the, what you what you come to the Salford, the old Salford General Hospital. Well, if you keep walking down that road on the right hand side. I'll say on the left hand side, shall we say, depending depending on which way you walk down. A number of high rises have already been put there. So what will generally basically will will happen is that um, Salford and Manchester will just become one conurbation. And that'll be quite a big area really. If you're ever thinking of investing, um, the property market in the Salford area is something to be is something to be looked at. And it, even though that a certain a certain Chinese company has gone into shambles it can still be a way of uh, of getting a form you know getting money for for your properties you know by letting them out but uh, you know it's just one of those things you can you know look into but one of the things other things I said that about on one of my videos and is that no matter how high high the building is, right? At the end of the day, what you're paying for, what you're paying for, is not just for not just for the apartment, not just for the area, but the main thing that you will be paying for is the views. The vista around it. That's the reason why some of these apartments are going up, going up for quite large sums, because it's not the, just the apartment that you're build that you're investing in. It's the price of the views that you're seeing from your apartment if you get what I mean. So that's the best thing is does this apartment have a good view? Does this part apartment uh, good value or not? You know it's just one of those sometimes it's just one of those things. Um, the price is the price. So we're coming up to, we're actually coming up, we're coming up into, we're coming up into Salford now, coming up into Salford now, or a part of it. So, yeah. Do I think do I think Salford is a best bet as a, is a best bet for an investment? Um, could be. Could be. So you know, if you've got so, if you've got cash to burn, <laughs> if you've got cash to burn, um, it might be well worth. You know, you know, it could be worth pump in a, in a way. <coughs> At this moment in time, I'm still on the 8th bus, and uh, they say that uh, Salford's a, a rough area, but yeah, maybe it's a rough area. But, 
well, it's an up and coming area as well. But sometimes you've just got to take, you just got to take the risk. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. But uh, it's just one of those things. Well, we'll see what happens. Um, when you leave Salford, you start, you start seeing the uh, skyscrapers. But, uh, you know, it's going to be just one of those things, isn't it? So we'll just have well, yeah, I hopefully I'll get some footage for you and uh, see what's what. Well, this phone is getting quite hot actually because it's been running for quite some time. Yeah, so we'll just have to wait and see. And uh, you know, just have to see what happens. Yeah, so we're on the outskirts of Salford and uh, we shall see how it goes. Electricity Northwest, someone's having something done. Or the most probably live here. We're going to take a turn in a minute once we get further up here. Round we go. I will have to make some room. Um, I will have to make some room on the, on the SD, on the uh, phone in a bit. And uh, start pushing it to the SD card and I might probably upload it later on today. Right, we're going to turn left here. I remember once bus bus turned too f bus turned too far and the bus ended up tipping over. Oh what a mess that was. What a mess that was. Now we're just going to go to the underpass now, of which when we get under this underpass, well then we'll be in Salford proper. We are in Salford, but we're, we're in Salford proper once we get uh, uh, through there, through here. Very soon we'll be a pro a coming into the Salford shopping area part of the Salford shopping area and uh, yeah here we go going round and round about one major thing that Salford City Council did do and I, and I think they did right by it is they started stripping they started stripping some of the tower blocks of the cladding that it had that they had, um, but uh, it, st it hasn't put them off putting tower blocks up. Um, but uh, we'll soon see. And uh, yeah, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Um, we're going past the uh, one of the shopping centres here. So we're just, uh, you know, doing a pass up towards the stand. It used to go further down, and. Uh, I've done, as I said, I've done number a number of videos on Salford. What will most probably happen will we'll probably go up this way and go up, go back round, round and round about, and then. So, 
Off we go. Up we go by St. James's house. Of which they're still trying to let offices out in. So here we go. Oops. Phone nearly slipped out my hand. Going round and round about. There you go. There's the motorway. Now this bit, <laughs> this bit does get a little bit, it's renowned to be a little bit bumpy, especially the bus lane. Um, yeah, going past, I don't know, it's quite, believe it or not, believe it or not, it's a bit of a mixed bag here, you know what I mean? Um, for, um, the area sort of thing and uh, yeah coming up to Manchester Manchester area very soon I don't know Salford seems to be doing a lot a lot of um, resurfacing work believe it or not At least, at least they're better than Blackburn. I know some of the road markings are, uh, they need slight attention, but, you know. Um, it's just one of those things, isn't it? Blackburn doesn't really give a monkey's about the road markings. The sun has just come out once again. As I can feel it on my face. Yeah. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. We might be sat here for quite some time, you never know. Um, going up to Salford University now. <coughs> Salford University has basically got one of the biggest campus, one of the biggest campuses around here. Um, we go past the tower blocks now. On the left hand, on the right hand side, um, there's nothing wrong with tower blocks. Nothing wrong with them at all. And in the distance, you can see the skyscrapers. Of which we will see when we get when we get there. There are quite a fair few uh, tower blocks at the moment. Now this is the bit. Now this is the bit from the from the from the guy's video that he didn't get. He didn't get at all because uh, like when I went past last time they it looked like the block hadn't been completed and I think it's still not completed correction it has been completed so we'll just see what the next one next one's like I don't know why we stopped here for a little while, but uh, we'll soon find out. Soon find out. So, no worries. The best bus to get to the to the main university campus. Um, is the 36, the 37 and the 8 are the buses to get if you're coming from uh, Swinton. 
So I'll just have a nap. And to be truthful, sulfur due to diversity looks pretty pretty actually. Ambition. Well, you know. Let's see what happens when we get there into the We'll uh, go further up. Now that's one one build building that really needs it needed to go further up. It really did. It's finished. It looks finished. And it has balconies on the side. I thought they weren't going to do that. I thought they weren't going to do that at all. So we just uh, have a little dive around and uh, see what happens. Coming up to the uh, Salford General Hospital, what use? I don't know if it's still a hospital or not, but uh, I could find out as an hour later. Because I've been hearing that it's been turned into apartments, but uh, I'll get off up later and we'll walk down here. Now, used to. Oh! Oh! The shop's gone! shop's gone and these are now up now let's have a see further up because it has been some time since I last came down here yeah it's basically gone is that spare land Now we're going to turn. Are we going to turn right? Are we going to? Are we going to turn right? Are we going to go straight up? We're going to go straight up. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have a walk around for a bit. But tonight, we'll just have a walk around and, uh, yeah. There's been quite a few. Oh! There's been quite a fair few uh, developments here. There we go. Yeah. And they're still finishing it off. I want to see if this tower block here, up here, has been uh, put up yet. I'm trying to... I'm just trying to see if there's a tower block being put up here yet. Because there's meant to be, they're meant to put one, it's slot a tower block there. I don't know if it's been done or not. And uh, we'll see what happens. And uh, see how it goes. So that was uh, on the way into Manchester via Salford. And uh, yeah. I'll probably put that video up later on today, um, depending what happens. And uh, yeah, 
it is like it is like that it's like what I said isn't it that there are areas that are basically oh right <laughs> wasn't expecting that to be there it's a small pub Granada dry cleaning and we're just having a nice uh, walk down I'm gonna have to try and remember what this street is actually called actually and uh, we're gonna Oh, I think we are going to actually go on to King Street very soon. I think it's going to turn right and go out, turn left onto King Street and go straight up King Street and then round. Yeah. Yeah, we're going straight up. There we go. I think we might have a ride to the bus station actually. See what uh, see what happens. Going past the open apple. Going past the town hall, which is having a major re major regeneration work done to it. Now we're on King Street. I think we're on King Street. No, we're not. King Street's fair. Is the other way up? Is the other way? So we'll see what happens. We're more probably coming on to um, near the banks and stuff. We'll get off at the uh, bus station and what, and basically take a walk round. Take a walk around Manchester for a little while and then probably have a walk into uh, Salford as well. But then again, once we've done that, we might, might, that's King Street, parts of, parts of King Street are quite tight to get around. And yeah. There is a part of Manchester I haven't gone in, and that's this place here. Of a lucky loo. Yeah, there's this part here I haven't, uh, I haven't been in. That I know is part of the Arndale and what goes down to the bottom there. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Well, people are deciding to walk in front of the bus. Alright. Hello, what with what's going on here? We don't usually go that way. Unless Unless there's something on. Is the Manchester Great Run today? We'll soon find out. Let's have a walk then. Let's have a walk round. You 
it's been a while since I've been into Manchester anyway so we'll just have a walk around for a little while and uh, see how it goes from there as you did see on that on that clip um, we had yeah a four four or five story building there um, of which I don't know who's going to move into that really it could do do with being off uh, be it not offices um, residential so we'll just wait and see he's going to turn his eyes are going to turn left or he's going to turn right He's most probably going to turn right and then go up. So, so there we go. We're on Dean's bottom end of Deansgate so we're going to turn right in a minute now at the side here at the side here at the bottom of Deansgate is used to be an office building what they're going to be do doing with that is going to be stripping it down stripping it up doing it doing a complete total reclean of it because inside it's absolutely grotty it's an absolutely grotty building inside. Um, there, at the back of it, is a hotel, and I must must say it is one of the grimmest hotels that there is. It is one of the gr grimmest hotels you can stay at, and and it's horrible now we're going down here now um, going down here now and we're going over the bridge we're going to go over the bridge and then we're going to go back oh right okay we're going to have a drive along we'll just have a ride round round back the round back the Premier Inn yes there was a Premier Inn there he's going to turn right he's going to turn right in a minute because he's not going to be able to go under the bridge He's unable to turn, you know, go under the bridge because he can't fit, he won't fit. So, you know, he's going to turn right. There are still cranes about. There are places with penthouses, as you, can, as you can most probably make out. Is he going to do a right turn? Yes, yeah, she's going to do a right turn. And we're going to go up. Go up here. There we go. It's been a long time since I last came here. And it's going to turn right again and go up. We're on, uh, well, we're actually on the conurbation here. You've got Salford on one side and you've got Manchester on the other. This is where the join, this is where the join begins. So we're going to turn right here. Oh, he's going up the bus lane here. Q Park. 
Now, is he going to go straight up? This is the area now that they are developing. Um, there's t several. Now he's going to. I think he's going to take a right turn here because he can't go up the right round and then right round and uh, yeah. Up we go. Up we go. Uh, we're going to follow the 87. Sorry, the 70, the 67. And we're following the 67 up. And uh, yeah, see how it goes from there. Let me see a Manchester outer border. Right, going up to the bus station. And then, uh, yeah, the job should be a good one. And then we're going to have a walk through the city centre and uh, see how it goes. We'll go, for, go further up. What we, oh, all right. go further up the hill here and uh, yeah I just hope everybody's having a great day and uh, that's a bit of a bad thing really you should have should have uh, put the minibus minibus the other way around so that uh, the doors on the pavement We're just at the National Football Museum outside. So, yeah. Yep. We're at Balloon Street, where the co op is based. Part of it is, anyway. Coming up to the uh, Arndale Shopping Centre. And if you're in Manchester, one of the nicest places that you can go is the Printworks. The Printworks has an IMAX cinema, one of, it's got, it's got really good uh, uh, entertainment stuff here. Um, and you won't, uh, you won't go wrong with it, you know, looks like points are out. security and we can hear a tram coming up boop boop and today is I don't know it's there we go there's the print works The hell we go. It's quite a it's quite a big shopping area is the Arndale. Another another uh, tall building going up very soon. Whoa The Arndale is having major work done um, of late because, well, especially the Arndale area. Coming into the bus station now, it's going to make a right to left turn, and this is where I get off. Right, off we get. Da, 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 da. Right, if 
thanks a lot. Right. Right. Uh, which way is it? Let's go and find out. Now, this is one of. This is the Scargill um, bus station. And if you're in Manchester, you've got to be very wary of this bus station because it can be quite busy at times. Um, that is quite a, a pricey um, um, place. Now, what I am going to do. If I can, I'm going to try and sneak the phone in the Arndale because it, they are a little bit if about people shooting in there. Uh, yeah. So we'll just wait and see. That's the 8 bus to Bolton, but that's not the one we'll be getting back. Um, We'll just have a walk down. Uh, yeah. Bolton buses are every 10, 50, 10, 15 minutes. And uh, yeah. I was having a walk round. Nice, nice walk round. Uh, but Manchester for a little while. Hang on a minute, I'm going to have to get across because this bus driver has nicely let me go. <coughs> yeah. And uh, I'm just having a walk down. Um, yeah, it has been, it has been uh, uh, raining and overcast. Now, this is one of the new uh, projects that is going on in the ta in the city centre really um, how major it is going to be I don't know um, <clears throat> one of the major things that is happening in this in in, in Manchester city centre is that there are Quite a few um, construction. Well, oh, he's letting me go. Uh, thanks. Um, one of so there are quite a few projects going up in the city centre itself. It's not just the European Union Regional Development Fund. Well. I think that has actually stopped because we're not part of the EU anymore. Now we've got, now we've got one of the trams going past. So why? This is a double unit. It's gone past. And basically, it could be in some cases, it could be a three-stage unit. Um, so, yeah, the building is being renovated, and uh, yeah, it's good. It's good for this to happen because they are going to put they are going to put a high rise at the side of it so that it has more capacity. So, what I'm going to now do. What I'm going to do now is carry on, carry on walking up. This video should be up later on today. I just try and keep these people out of the video because I don't think they'll want to be on. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, there are quite a few uh, developments happening in the Manchester area. <laughs> And they are they are running double units today uh, for um, what's going on.
major work is being done. Uh, major work is being done, especially, especially for the uh, electrical, and also there will be will be um, fibre optic being laid very soon in this area because uh, it needs it. It really does need it, and. It's going to be a toss-up between Virgin Media and BT. So we'll just see what happens. Got a noodle shop. Another takeaway. Who said there was not, wasn't any food in the UK? Donna kebabs. Oh, and there. It goes to show, doesn't it? It's not, it's not all doom and gloom in the Manchester area. Um, in a moment, I'm going to take a, a left, to, a right turn, and go down towards towards the Salford area. Um, yeah, there are quite a fair, fair few empty property, empty stores along here. Uh, this used to be a how can I put it? Um, second hand, well, second hand shop further up, and uh, yeah, yeah. So that uh, they are changing a lot of stores up here um, further up is a small market that uh, was basically um, it has an Afro-Caribbean stall it has a book stall it has um, You know, but you've got to be, uh, got to be careful about what, what you do, what you say, and how, and how, you know, because sometimes it can be taken in the wrong context. <laughs> yeah. The bookstore is not open. Just a couple of just a couple of shops are open. <coughs> so what we could do what we could do, we'll just have a walk down the side of the arm down. Escape room. Yeah, there are quite a fair few empty shops here, and uh, yeah, it's just one of those things that retail is basically going through. Um, read well, online is having an effect. That's quite a quite a uh, th thing about uh, trams. They are they are running double units at the moment, and uh, yeah, yeah. So so we're just having a quick walk round. And uh, we'll see what happens. Shall we? Uh, Favorite beer. The Jessup's Jessup's Star. 
on the corner has gone and Debenhams has gone there are rumours at this moment in time this might be um, stripped out and a and a you know they're going to take they're going to take everything out melt the dummies down and basically turn it into a uh, well they're going to turn it basically they're going to turn it into apartments city centre apartments that is one of the rumours that is being passed around at the moment um, if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't and it's just uh, six, six of one half a dozen of dozen of the others because the you know what the rumour mill can be like it can be um, one of the things that um, can basically make a place or wreck a place um, and you've got to basically um, make the most of it yes I, and if you haven't come across me my name's Alan and uh, I'm a well, I'm a ba I'm basically a blogger from Blackburn. I do a little bit. I do a little bit on Manchester and Preston and places like that. But uh, what is happening here is in the Manchester Manchester Salford area is that there is going to be another phase of development. Salford is going to be the first the first area to have a 55 storey tower block of which Salford City Council has basically turned round and given the go at green light for it the place that it is going to go to is going to be um, done for you know, done for this Uh, done for this so yeah so that will be the major development in Salford that will to be truthful that will be bigger than the Beetham Tower You can tell that uh, you can tell down here that uh, there are shops struggling down here. Yeah. So what I said, what I said, is that that will be that will be bigger than the Beethoven Tower, 55 floors. Um, as I said, Salford City Council have basically given the green light for that, and. Uh, I reckon that it's going to be one of many and yeah how many more be how many more of those are there going to be oh we have a metro bank yeah so what we'll do what we'll do is we'll just have a have a walk down and uh, yeah, that poor that poor guy doesn't doesn't get it at all. Doesn't get it at all. So you know, um, so that's that's the major news for round here, but. The only disappoint, the only disappointing part of it, is that there are no affordable housing in it. Uh -uh. So basically, what they're what they're trying to do is get more affluent, more affluent to move into Salford. 
are they gonna are they gonna succeed in doing that? I don't know. Would you move to Salford if you had the choice? You know, is it? A lot of street vendors, ain't there? Um, you know, is it one of those things that you would basically uh, aspire to move into? Well, the choice. You know, you've got to make that choice if you if you wish to move there. But you know. The way things are going at this moment in time, right? We've got people coming into the country. Well, we're going to have nowhere to put them. Nowhere. And I think this is going to be a way of housing these people. But who's going to who's going to pay for it? Exactly. Who is going to pay for it? Uh, going past the. On Dale, and you know, we're just way walking along. Um, yeah, it's quite busy down here today. Gotta watch your pockets, yeah. And if you haven't liked and subscribed to Alan Kane's Daily Vlog YouTube channel, please do so, you know. And if you've got any comments, comments, or suggestions, please leave it in the comment section below. Um, yeah, so you know, it's just one of those things. If you don't like what I what I what I what I'm saying, well, you know, it's just one of that two banks next door to each other. And I'm just gonna have a walk around for a little bit. And uh, yeah. Jenny could have been enjoying this today. Going past the Samsung shop. Now, they have one of the best, one of the best displays that I've ever seen, that you, you'll you ever see anyway. Samsung Galaxy Fold. The fold is quite an expensive phone. Quite an expensive fo phone to be to be truthful. Uh, yeah. We're just having a walk around for a little while. You, you know, one of these days I'm going to get the phone snatched out of my hand. Never mind. But uh, they'll be extremely disappointed. <laughs> Because the phone is absolutely knackered. Because what what basically happened with my phone was that uh, the, the the screen is bananaed. Yeah, I just have a walk down. I just have a walk about. Find out what's uh, what. And uh, walk round a bit. There's major, major, major construction going on from now here at the moment. Um, we'll just wait. Royal Exchange Manchester, of which, of which there, uh, that they're um, promoting. This is recent. Gotta be. CGI Fridays. CGI Fridays. Why well, go to CGI Fridays when you can go to Iceland and buy it there for half the price? Because what you're basically paying for at CGI Fridays is the we're back. Yeah, they are back. Clear me. 
we're just having a bit of a walk round and uh, crikey what is this place? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll pay a visit, we'll have a, have a quick look, have a quick look you know, see what, uh, see what the place is like. This is a place I've never been in. This is a place I've never been in. My queens. I've never been in this area, in this one. By Charlotte Sting. Design the exchange. Yeah, so this is an area I haven't been in. These are, shall I say, boutique shops. The spout, that's for uh, tobacconists. I've never been in here. I've never been Jenny Jones. I've never been in here, the barber shop. Kisses. I've never been in, as I said, I've never been in here. This is one of the places I've never been in. Maze pawnbrokers. I know they have. I know they have a store in. Um, how can I put it in Salford? But I've never. I've never been in here before, so I thought, well, I'll just give it a quick. A quick walk through. We'll just go straight up because I ain't I ain't been this way. I ain't been this way. It's quite a lot of uh, shops up here that you know Moss Brothers. I'm just having a walk, minding my own business. We're going to turn right in a bit, in a bit, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, I don't get lost. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where I am. There's a fountain coming up. This place has been featured in quite a few videos. So what I am going to do is I'm going to take a right turn in a minute. Now Blackburn, you could take a few cues from this because this is how to do it properly. You know, you don't. You don't, um, what do you call it? I've just had Barclays. Well, you know, it's just one of those things that happens. Let's have a see. Yeah, Manchester's fairly, fair. I wouldn't mind living here, to, 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 to be truthful. But the problem is, problem is, I'd end up getting lost all the time. That's the major problem. Uh, we're going to turn right in a minute. Don't know where I'm going to end up, but, uh, you know, it's just... It's just a little explore, isn't it? What's going on? And what sort of what sort of place it is and all that sort of 
thing and see if we can feel the vibe here or not. We're coming on to uh, Deansgate, if I remember, if I remember too rightly. Somebody's using Way Wayfinder, so that uh, they're not getting lost. Uh, yeah, well, never mind. Sometimes you just have, sometimes you just have more fun getting lost than actually, um, how should I put it, knowing where you're going. Because sometimes it, it adds to the fun of it, doesn't it? This is the reason why I like getting, I like, in some cases I like getting lost in uh, places that I've never been to before. And, uh, you know, it's just one of those things. If you get lost, you get lost. So, what we, I think we're coming on to Dean's Gate now. And, uh, yeah. I've been running this uh, thing for about, uh, don't know. But... We'll see what happens. People are walking around with camp with their phones out, you know. So, you know, they're not. It mustn't be too bad around here because uh, if it was around here, somebody somebody might be shouting, "Put your bloody phone away!" You know. So we're just having a walk down Dean's Gate and. Uh, yeah, I get a bus. Prime unit corner. Yeah. Well, never mind. There is the moon underwater further down. And uh, yeah, just have a walk up. Bloody hell! Talk about flash. We're just having a walk down. And I just hope everybody's having a great day. If you haven't liked and subscribed to the Alan Kane's Daily Blog YouTube channel, please, um, please like and subscribe. If you've got any comments, leave the comments in the comment section below. But the major thing is, for folks, please keep your comments, uh, you know, keep them clean and all that sort of thing. Keep it civil because uh, I don't want to really boot anybody from from the comments section or anything. Um, yeah, so, you know, as I said, I'm just having a walk around, walk, walk around parts of Manchester and Salford. Um, one of the things is I am actually consider if my backup plan is basically to move to either to Manchester or Salford that's Salford Fire Service Salford Fire the Greater Manchester Fire Service just gone past this part to put side of me <coughs> yeah and uh, yeah they've they've been um, told that they've got something coming something coming to uh, for them because uh, they're going to need it especially if they're going to have some of these some more of these high rise high rise uh, buildings coming up and uh, yeah yeah um, they're getting they're getting uh, new new ladder units to replace the old ones because they're you know on the way <laughs> shall we say they're on the way out they're not getting so many of them I think they're getting about 10 because of the number of high rises that are planned for the city centre and uh, yeah, 
I don't know which way to turn. Shall we? Shall we go down? Uh, shall we go down to the bottom? Shall we go down to the bottom and go down as far as? Uh, how can I put it? Shall we go down as far as Talbot Albert Square? Yeah, Albert Square, and then turn and then turn turn left turn right and basically walk into Salford shall we? shall we walk into Salford? come on folks pick the destination are we going to walk into Salford? so I will cross over I shouldn't have crossed over like but <laughs> it's just one of those things we're going to cross over into Salford so, hang on. Walk down. We're going to walk down this way. We're going to walk down this way. Can we cross over? Can we cross over? Yeah? No? Yeah? No? Come on, people in the chat. Come on, people in the chat. Make, uh, make a decision. Do we cross over or not? Are we going to cross over or not? We're crossing over. Right, okay. Not a problem. Not a problem. So we'll just cross over here. And uh, no worries. So, which way? We'll go this way? Should we go this way? We'll go this way. Uh, shall we take a, a right in a bit? I think we shall. We shall. This this unit here is up for development, and there are talks talks of pulling one of these buildings down and putting a taller building there. Basically, what they could do is take the top off take the top off find the core find the core unit core part and then take it them then add to it it looks like they've the fire brigade have basically gone to a joey call someone's no. The library's getting some. The the, the uh, library's getting some TLC. Well, it needs it really. We're going to turn right in a minute. And I uh, just hope everybody's having a great day. I must say that they, the fire, the fire brigade, have got to have quite a good knowledge of where they're going, because uh, I think Greater Manchester. I think Greater Manchester Fire Service is one of the, shall we say, bigger, bigger fire, you know, fire areas that, you know, that there is. It's three times bigger than what Lancashire is. And, uh, yeah. Going past the Manchester... I think this is Manchester Evening News that we're going past at the moment. We're going to turn right in a minute and walk down. Uh, yeah, we're going to turn around in a minute and we're going to make, make it. Someone's left their sleeping attire behind. You should never leave your sleeping attire behind because someone could come along and pour petrol on it and burn it. 
So I'm going to turn right in a minute and we're going to make our way to Salford, towards Salford anyway, and take a, take a basic, basic look, basic look at what is going on. I like this area, it's nice. You know, it is, it's nice. And they're basically cleaning the area up. They could do putting a tactile marker there on that pa on this pavement, really, in some of the areas. Another, another, another tower block there, which is quite high up, really. You know. Yeah, you don't give, you don't say what the heck fuck you think you're doing. You just go up to them and twat them in the face. <laughs> yeah, as you might probably, you might probably see. You can, you can actually see odd fell, the odd fellows. Making friends, helping people. Ah, the odd fellows. The odd fellows are, shall we say, a. The, shall we say, they're an organisation that is for tradesmen, tradespeople. Are uh, the odd fellas, and yeah, yeah. Now I'm looking for where. Yeah, I'm gonna have to very in the next few weeks. I'm gonna have to start looking for a job <laughs> yes yeah, so I'm going to have to start looking for a job folks it's just the way that it is and uh, and uh, see what happens so just uh, walk down we'll take a right turn in a minute and uh, see what happens. We are coming in to Oxford Road. Well, that's a loose paving slab. And uh, he's doing a power check. Check. Taking. Check. Taking, taking an order nine. Uh, number nine, no, one nine to six. One nine six. I'm going to turn right in a minute, if I can, and uh, have a walk down. There are all the tower, tower blocks. As a matter of fact, matter of fact, very soon there's going to be another, another one of them joining them very soon. And uh, yeah, and if the one at and if the one at Salford goes up, that will basically, uh, you know, uh, go down here. I think, I think it is anyway. We'll uh, walk down here. Well, just have a walk down. See what the state of play is. Yeah, we'll, we'll walk down here. Excuse me, which way to Salford? 
Excuse me, I'm going right way to Salford, aren't I? I I'm sorry, I don't need a camera. Oh dear. Excuse me, am I going right way to Salford? Sorry, mate. Am I going the right way to Salford? Yeah, mate, 100%, yeah. You're just near the um, theatre now. Right, okay. No, you're Thanks. Day, buddy. So we'll just walk down. That's a gym. Barney Shine Health Club and Spa. Uh, da, 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 Excuse me, am I going the right way to Salford? No. no. Please leave me alone. We're, it's all, it's all we're right. heading. I'll, I'll answer it. It's all right. No, you're not going the right way to Salford. Am I mean, not? Well, you might be, I suppose. Actually, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a long walk, but yeah. Bad if up. you keep going straight, you're all right. Right, okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, it's a long walk, he says. So, we'll have a walk down. Yeah. The chain. He thought, uh, he thought Salford Crescent. No, I'm after Salf Salford, Salford. If, oh wow, that's my battery gone. So, there we go.